Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmerizing Minutes. You know, this uh, program was not supposed to start until uh, September 1st, the first Monday in September, but I just can't wait to start preaching again because uh, I'm confronted with a question that the world uh, cannot reckon with. And please listen to me carefully. The world cannot reckon, cannot accept, nor honestly answer the question, who is Jesus? College professors teach your kids. Some of you pay $35,000 a year, and your child is being turned into an atheist, and some of you don't care. I don't understand that. If you can be a Christian, um, if you send your child to a uh, college and the college professors put pressure on your children uh, because they believe in God or they consider themselves Christians, I would take them out of that college immediately. Or I would put pressure on the uh, college administration and, and tell them to mind their own darn business. Why? Because the world, the colleges in this country, in the world, they cannot answer the question, who is Jesus? I want to refer to a, a wonderful verse. Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Now, that's a quotation from the Magi going to Herod, asking where the king of the Jews was. Now, these were not these fake astronomers that you see in the newspapers that uh, supposedly read the stars and give you your horoscopes. No. No, these uh, were upper-class Persians who studied the stars and studied scripture. And in fact, uh, I was um, reading many years ago, true astronomists have used computer samples. And they, they at about the time that Christ was born, they used computer samples of where the stars were. And there, in fact, was a big, shining star at the time Christ was born. Now, the Magi studied that. They studied astronomy. They studied uh, the scriptures. And they had gone to Herod. And they had Ask them, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? Why? Why did they ask Herod? Because they were trying to reckon. They were trying to honestly answer the question, who is the Messiah? Who is Jesus? Well, if you look in Matthew chapter 1, and we're going to be talking about Matthew chapter 1 throughout the week, Matthew invites us to look beyond the scenes of history's most crucial birth. Most crucial birth. What Matthew shows us is that Jesus, especially in chapter 1, I I am fascinated with Matthew chapter 1, because that, that part of the gospel shows us that Jesus had his origins in God's eternal plan. And and that the babe of Bethlehem completely embodies that plan's fulfillment. Go to Matthew chapter 1. You'll see the lineage of Matthew, of of Jesus, explained by Matthew. And I'm going to be talking about that all this week. And I am going to be proving to you atheists that the Bible is true. I've got proof. I've got proof. And those of you who are college professors who listen to me, 
if you have, well, I know that God is telling some of the college professors in my audience to listen very carefully this week. God is perking up your ears for a reason. I, I, I just can't wait to start tomorrow's program. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmerizing Minutes.